Have you ever pondered about the power of gratitude? It's not just an emotion, but a force that can reshape our lives, our hearts, and even our destinies. Gratitude is more than a fleeting feeling of appreciation. It's a permanent posture of the soul, a lens through which we view the world with eyes wide open to the blessings around us. It's like a candle in the darkness, illuminating our path and guiding us towards a life of abundance and joy. Gratitude is like a key, unlocking doors to blessings we might never have imagined. It opens our hearts and allows us to fully experience the joy of existence. It prepares us, like the wise virgins, to receive life's blessings with open arms. So, let's dive into this journey of gratitude, exploring its transformative power and the ways it can reshape our lives. After all, gratitude is not just a feeling, it is a way of seeing the world. There's a powerful story in the Bible, the parable of the ten virgins, that beautifully illustrates the importance of gratitude. In this narrative, ten virgins anxiously awaited the arrival of the bridegroom. Five of them, the wise virgins, had prepared by bringing extra oil for their lamps. The other five, the foolish virgins, had brought lamps but no additional oil. As the evening unfolded, the bridegroom's arrival was announced. The wise virgins, ready and eager, lit their lamps and joined the celebration. Their lamps, filled with oil, burned brightly, a symbol of their anticipatory gratitude. In contrast, the foolish virgins, unprepared and lacking oil, found themselves unable to join the celebration. Their lack of preparation and absence of gratitude left them in darkness, missing out on the joyous feast. This parable offers a profound lesson about the role of gratitude in our lives. Just like the oil in the lamps, gratitude primes our hearts to receive blessings. It fuels our readiness and enables us to fully partake in the joy of divine presence. When we cultivate a posture of gratitude, we become like the wise virgins. We are ready to welcome blessings and celebrate life's gifts. On the other hand, a lack of gratitude can leave us unprepared, like the foolish virgins missing out on the richness of life's experiences. Like the oil in the lamps, gratitude prepares our hearts for blessings and enables us to fully experience the joy of God's presence. Another compelling story from the Bible that teaches us about gratitude is the story of the ten lepers. In this tale, Jesus encounters ten men afflicted with leprosy. These men, outcasts of society, cry out to Jesus for mercy, seeking healing from their debilitating condition. Touched by their plight, Jesus instructs them to go and present themselves to the priests. As they do so, they find themselves miraculously cleansed, their skin restored to health. Yet of these ten, only one, a Samaritan, feels compelled to return. Overwhelmed with gratitude, he comes back to Jesus, falls at his feet, and thanks him for the miracle of healing. He understood the immense gift he had received and couldn't help but express his gratitude to the one who had given it. Jesus, noticing the absence of the other nine, highlights the importance of the Samaritan's act. He asks, Were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God except this foreigner? He then turns to the Samaritan and says, Rise and go, your faith has made you well. This story serves as a poignant reminder of the power of gratitude. The Samaritan leper in his act of thanksgiving not only acknowledged the healing he received, but also demonstrated a faith that brought him spiritual wholeness. Gratitude not only acknowledges God's goodness, but also deepens our faith and opens the door to even greater blessings. So what do these stories teach us about gratitude? They guide us towards embracing a life of gratitude a life that illuminates our path and fills our souls. From the parable of the ten virgins, we understand that gratitude, symbolized by the oil in their lamps, prepares our hearts to receive blessings, enabling us to experience the joy that comes with God's presence. It's all about readiness and anticipation, about keeping our lamps burning brightly, awaiting the blessings that life has in store. The story of the ten lepers, on the other hand, emphasizes the power of expressing gratitude for the blessings we receive. 
Like the Samaritan leper who returned to thank Jesus for his healing, we too should acknowledge God's goodness, deepening our faith and opening the door to greater blessings. May we always strive to live lives marked by gratitude, for in doing so, we align our hearts with the divine and experience the transformative power of God's love.